New Interstop, we have a very interesting and uh, economical vehicle too. It's a Mitsubishi Outlander 2-litre FEV plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. It's a GX4 HS. It's a 4x4. It's a 5-door. It's uh, 2015 on a 15 plate. Now, the, the fuel economy, it's very difficult to say. Uh, I checked it before and according to the computer, it was averaging something like 90 miles per gallon. That's bearing in mind uh, plugging it in, using mo electric mostly, just going home and back to work, and occasionally it just uh, reverts to um, the engine, or you can actually charge it with the engine. There's all sorts of tricks to get more miles to gallon, which I, I'm working on and trying to find the best way of uh, driving it. I'll try and show you when we, when we go out in it, but it's a really good specification. If you like electric vehicles, uh, personally, <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, how, how to put it, um, d doing this job, my, my face gives the game away. If I don't like you, if I don't like a car, you can see it in my face. Um, I was using a, a Mercedes hybrid a few weeks ago. And the chap that bought it, he, he said, you didn't look like you were enjoying driving it. Well, I wasn't, uh, in, in all honesty, I wasn't. These electric cars, I suppose, they're ideal for some people. Uh, I've been in the motor trade all my life. I used to enjoy stripping engines down and rebuilding them. And, and that sort of thing, getting it to run absolutely perfectly, um, meant a lot to me. And, and that's how I was brought up. There's all these moving parts uh, working in conjunction with each other, split second timing to, to get the best out of the engine, to get the best economy, tuning the carburetor, and now we just have motors. So, so that, that's it um, from, from my point of view. However, I have been using it for a, a week or two. If I was going out for a Sunday drive, I'd, I'd rather go out in a V8 something or other. But day to day, this is absolutely fantastic. Um, if, if a friend of mine's got an electric vehicle, it's, it's just costing him nothing to run. It's zero road tax. And it says in the, in the blurb that you get with the things that it'll do up to 140 miles per gallon. Um, that's what you'd be buying this for, up to 140 miles per gallon and comfortable for five people and all your luggage. So it's ideal for that. It's just not ideal for me. It probably will be for you and that's why you're looking at it. <laughs> so try, I know it's difficult, but try and ignore my face. Um, there's, it's from, for getting from A to B. For me, there's not too much enjoyment in driving it, but uh, try, try and look past that. Otherwise we're gonna have it forever. <laughs> Okay, so we've got uh, high pressure headlamp wash, multi-spoke alloy wheels, kind of a snowflake design. We've got, uh, and that's proper snowflake, not what it's used for these days. We've got the chrome window surround, rear privacy glass, plastic sill protector there. We've got power folding door mirrors, roof bar system, tilt and slide electric glass sunroof, on this side, you've got the uh, proper fuel flap. We have <laughs> Chap here's waited till now to uh, fire up his petrol lawnmower and drown me out. Gordon Bennett. So, power open and close tailgate. We've got the load cover here. There's a load liner in here, so it's, it's all like new inside. The seats split independently of each other and fold down. Just under there, you've got the reversing camera, rear wash wipe, again, privacy glass in the back. Plenty of room in the, uh, the the front seat there. I've got it where I'd be comfortable and I've got lots of leg room. There's a, a rear centre armrest here, two cup holders. We can put that back up. 
we've got uh, one well that's the other inertia reel belt comes out of the roof there and plugs in so three inertia reel belts on the on the back here we've got the isofix child seat anchor points in the back you you would have to uh, it's obviously running catch on it there you go so you, if, you, if you're an adult of any size then you'd have to put the um, the rear headrests up to be comfortable but once you have the seats up to your shoulders and it, it is it is nice and comfortable plenty of headroom and the uh, the roof here is sculpted so it actually goes up at the back here and it's obviously there so that the sunroof can come back but once past where the sunroof is coming back you've, you've then got more headroom so it's it's nice and comfortable in the back uh, black perforated leather you've got cup holders down here well more bottle holders down there and your cup holders in the center here it's it's really really nice I'll just take you for a ride in it remote keys it's uh, keyless entry keyless go keyless entry so long as you've got the key on you just press the rubber button on the door handle and uh, the doors open and same when you're getting out press it again and they all lock uh, keyless go that's it that's the engine starting um, it's uh, on electric at the moment we'll just put it on charge quickly while we're talking so the uh, oh, it's actually full the the engine drives the motor and charges the electric as well if, if that's what you you want to do there's a save button here that saves the electric so that, that'll put it onto the engine and uh, just move that that'll put it onto the engine and save your electric for where you probably most want it around towns and so on um, we've got power folding door mirrors sat nav I'll just show you the reversing camera there you go there's the reversing camera as well and I'll take you for a drive in it I'll try and explain things as we go along but to be fair I've, I've been using it for I don't know four or five days perhaps a week and uh, I've, I've still not totally got the hang of it I, I'm getting there there's a, a little diagram on the dash you can set it to go to that diagram and it tells you at the moment the battery is driving the wheels you can uh, you drive accordingly now on the steering wheel you've got a minus button here and a plus button here and you with it being automatic you probably think it's paddle shift but it's not it's just the regenerative system um, when you take your foot off the accelerator it start, starts driving the motors and recharging it so it also slows you down quite a quite a bit if you pull on these paddles it slows you down a lot and quite quickly and it doesn't put the brake lights on so anybody behind you if you do it, it they could could give them a shock because they before they know it they're closing on you and they've, they've no warning like now if I click that it's gone to charging gone to charging the uh, battery and the little diagram there has changed to B which is a sort of brake regeneration or <laughs> the when you're braking it generates electricity for the battery by holding the plus flap for two seconds you can set it back to the way it was before so as you can see we're, we're on electric at the moment I, I mean as, as I said before uh, I haven't got the face for um, for this job really um, and I, I know you're probably thinking <laughs> tell us something we don't know Baz we're watching the video but electric that little beeping it's also got lane change which I'll tell you about yet my face gives the game away it, it, to me this is just a fantastic car it, it, if you're looking for economy and so on brilliant but it it, it um, kind of goes against everything that I've been brought up with in the motor trade and uh, you know engines getting better and better and we've now got to a point where engines are so good and of course machine tolerances are so good and oils a lot better engines are lasting longer and we've just got to that point and we're, we're introducing electric motors to the mix which just you know 
as I said, the, the engine, you, you, you match it to the gears, you're driving, you change gear, and, and the better driver you are, <laughs> the better at gear changes you are, uh, and the more satisfying it is to drive. Whereas electric motors don't need gearboxes really, they, they just go faster. Um, this one's got two motors apparently, uh, one at the front, one at the back, and that's uh, the four-wheel drive button here. Um, right, I'll just I'll, I'll just kind of show you when we're coming up here. If I, at the moment now, the, the engine is driving the wheels, we've got to a, a speed now where it's needed engine assist. And now, as I'm slowing down, it's putting charge back into the battery. And as I click this negative button, I'm slowing down faster, and it's charging more. And it, the beeping is again the, the lane departure warning and it's because I've not indicated before I've crossed the, the line here. If I indicate it won't make a noise, uh, I will indicate here so as I don't cock everybody up. So, but when, when there's nothing behind me I'll try and show you. So it, this plus and minus button, certainly in the morning when I'm coming to work, um, it becomes it becomes an art form knowing when to click the minus button to let the electric motor slow you down instead of the brakes and you're doing you're doing a couple of things really or, or three things you're charging your batteries you're not using your brake pads you're not wearing your discs out um, and, and you do it's making the car do more master gallon right kind of now it's recharging the battery or regenerating there you go as I'm pulling this up so if you can of course the lights have changed now but if you can time it so that you don't need to press the brakes because every time you, you press the brakes you're wasting fuel same in a car I tend to coast and, and people have a go at me for coasting uh, and putting it in neutral and just rather than using the brakes but BMW have brought out an automatic gearbox that does exactly that. People give me a hard time for doing it. BMW have spelt, spent millions of pounds developing this gearbox that senses that you, you know, you, you don't need power, and it, it just engages neutral and you coast. So, uh, and of course, get more miles to the gallon. Here we go up the motorway. Um, the engine's just kicked in there. If I take the reds down a bit, that's, that was the lane departure warning. I came over this broken line. I'll, I'll do it again here, so it knows we're here. If I go over here, there you go. It's uh, it's warned me twice. But if I indicate and go over, then it's fine. Now I'll just get to 70. Of course. I was going to tell you how many revs we're doing, but I'm going to go back in the middle, inside lane now. I was going to tell you how many revs we're doing, but here we've got a, an eco. We've got an eco green and blue is charge. So if I if I take my foot off the accelerator, it dips into charge, and it's showing the wheels are driving electricity to the battery. If I put my foot on the accelerator, it's back to the engine. Um, Right, other other stuff. Whoops, cruise. Done it again. Cruise control, is that switched on? Cruise. Sorry. Dreadful. There you go. Can I look it off? Um Right, so we, we, we're in drive, it's kind of a neutral thing. You can, if I put charge on there, it's charging the batteries, and uh, there, it's saving the electricity. Knock both those off. It, it, it's, it's just got to have absolutely everything. The four wheel drive switch here, it's got heated seats, we've got here, Forty miles an hour inside lane. 
we've got here tilt and slide sunroof just close that that goes all the way back knock that off charge we're back so we're actually doing nearly 60 on electric power with a bit of luck this camera I'll be I'm trying to be able to show you I've put a camera up so you can you can see it moving and is it let's just see that's showing how economical you're driving that's the four-wheel drive, trip counter, second trip counter. It's showing I've got nine miles of electric and 63 miles fuel. And now before it was adver ad uh, averaging something like 90 miles to the gallon, but I've, it's been ticking over while I've been photographing it and it, it's brought it right down. So that's, that's not really a fair. Uh, let's, um, I was gonna reset it, but I need to concentrate here really. So there's a shade band which you can pull across the tilt and slide sunroof. There is bags of room in here. You've got cup holders here at the front, power socket there. Um, oh, bash, bash my head there. Anti-skid control there. There's uh, the lane departure warning. Bluetooth hands-free. It's got audio streaming. And you've also got some other things like timed climate. And one of the problems with electric vehicles is in the morning, uh, especially when it's been icy, it takes a while to heat up and defrost your, your screen. Um, with this, you can actually set the heating to come on at, at a certain time um, or even cool it down, which is handy with cars with leather upholstery it does get quite hot sometimes there the engine's just cut in again there I'll just clip it back oh it, it, it was then showing me actually how much of the time I'd been on electric now again this morning it was 60 odd percent now it's only 43 with it being with it ticking over but with with on electric there yeah, that's just that's just electric. We're doing 55 miles an hour. It's nice and quiet, nice and smooth. We'll we'll just click the regen on again, and that's it. The wheels driving electricity back to the battery instead of using your brake pads. And that's uh, one of the things I noticed when we bought an i3 last year. The uh, the front discs were rusty, and the reason is there's no there's no need if you if you kind of plan your journey or when you come into a halt if you just take your foot off the accelerator that little bit sooner the regen system slows you down you've no need to brake and um, it's I mean it, it is a good idea it would have been a better idea if they'd have brought that uh, or invented that when we used to use asbestos brakes <laughs> That, that would have probably saved the planet a lot. But uh, here we go, I'll, I'll just slow it down again. And again, I haven't got my foot on the accelerator or the brake, the vehicle's slowing down. It's well into the charge gauge. I'll just have to help it here. Otherwise we'll sail across the junction. And then hold the plus button for two seconds and it just goes back to ordinary drive. It's the same with, with a Toyota Prius. When you're going down steep hills, you could just put it into the the B, and it it held your speed more, but recharged the battery in the meantime. I mean, this has been fantastic for me, just coming back and forward to work. There's certainly no pleasure in that drive whatsoever. Even if you were in a V8 or a V12, you're just in traffic. And if I put this, there's a charging lead in the back, plugs into a three-pin socket. And there's also a fast charger, and the fast charger will take it from from no charge whatsoever to 80% in 30 minutes. 
I just plug it in when I get to work and I, and I come to work on electric and I go home on electric. As I, as I say, my, my friend who, who doesn't care about cars at all, just needs to get from A to B as cheaply as possible. He's got a BMW i3 and he, and he loves it. And he, none of the, you know, like people get fed up, keep plugging it in. But you, you have to go to the fuel station. How many times do you go to the fuel station and there's a car in front of you and now with fuel stations and supermarkets, there's, there's somebody parked there. Well, they're, they're getting the week shopping and you're waiting to, to, to get to the fuel pump. And then when you get to the fuel pump, you're behind them again. Well, they, they, they pay for the, uh, this camera's getting on my nerves. It's uh, too hot and the camera keeps uh, cutting off. Um, yeah, so you, you you wait for them and, and go home. I've got I've got it set up at the garage. You just I'm going to turn that lane departure warning off. It's getting on my nerves. Um, you just plug it in. Come out of work. It's fully charged. I leave the charger at work and just put it in the garage doors. And you do the same at home in your garage. Just plug it in, and it, and it, it is no problem. Um, so I. I I can see, and, and certainly the, the fuel economy, especially after using a, a Range Rover 4.4, it's uh, that's quite nice. Not having to put your hand in your pocket every couple of days for like 50 quid worth of juice, but it, it is what it is. You, you you either like them or you don't. And uh, if it's a, a work tool, then. It's ideal for that. So uh, that's the lane departure warning. We're just knocked that off. Just getting too close with it, with the cars being at the side of the road. So electric windows, electric door mirrors. Let's just um, check them. High pressure headlamp wash. Yep, they're working. Yep, all the windows work fine. Electric seats. Well, that, that's right the way back where I've got it. But there you go. That's uh, so that's fine. Now then, I'm sure it'll have height and reach adjustable steering wheel as well, which I'll just check if we uh, if there's any cars at the bottom here. car behind me now is there anything coming <laughs> now there's nothing coming when I wanted it to be it's it's so quiet I, I've got the aircon on as well so that's going to take um, some electric but, uh, I, I have noticed when we've gone to price this vehicle up that there's a lot of these vehicles on the internet with with plenty of miles on. So obviously, um, they the bought for economy, and uh, and also they must be good for plenty of miles. Electric motor, not very many moving parts. Uh, just the one, as far as I'm aware, and a and a, a winding and a magnet and so on, and uh, nothing really to wear out. Of course, the engine's hardly doing any work, so that's not under any strain. It just helps now and again. Um, that's kind of about all I can say. The, the climate control in here is working tremendously well. It's very, very cold, and it's you, there's a setting down to 15 degrees here. I think from my aircon days, they, they only used to drop the temperature between 11 to 15 degrees from what the outside um, air temperature is but even air cons got better these days everything's working on the car nice and clean just as it's come in it's not being cleaned yet Lance will give it the treatment uh, when we get a Range Rover in and I stop using it or somebody buys it but um, so don't, don't don't let me put you off because it's probably absolutely ideal for most people 
and uh, it, it's a it's a very very good car. When we get back to the garage here, I'll just show you how to uh, delete a mobile from the system, set the sat nav, pair your mobile, and also stream music through the system. So here we go. Just try and get this camera back on first, otherwise.